Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a haul. I went to a few stores today, so I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, I have two bags, so yeah, there's, I didn't get like a bunch of stuff, but I did get a few things, so I figured why not just make a video and show you guys what I got. Um, also I'm obsessed with this bag. I love Christmas. I mean, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Everyone, if you know me, you know how much I love Christmas. Christmas is like one of my favorite times of the year. So, of course, I had to get a Christmassy bag to put my stuff in. Obviously. Um, first I got a binder. Because, now I didn't, okay. I went to a few stores about 20, 25 minutes away earlier this morning. Um, I would say around 9 a.m., 10 a.m. around there. We went to Walmart and stuff. And we came home. I was just relaxing all night, pretty much. And I also, um, this might be wild, a wild thing for me to do, but I was actually contemplating on applying for Big Brother Canada this coming March. Now, a lot of people, like, I, there have been times where I would tell people, I want to apply for Big Brother. And some people would say, oh, you can't stay away from your family long enough for that, or... You won't be able to do Big Brother. I know you wouldn't. But honestly, I would. It'll be hard to be away from my family and not talk to them at all for two or three months. But, you know, I've been a fan of Big Brother for... I mean, I, I became a fan when I was about 14 years old. 14, around there. 20, 14 or 15. 2017, I became a fan. Like, shortly before my birthday that year. Um, my cousin was here for a few weeks, and her mom was here as well, and her dad, but she, she really likes Big Brother as well, and so, while my cousin was down, um, her and her parents, she, one of the nights she was there, um, we were going to have a campfire, and my aunt, she mentioned how my cousin really likes this show called Big Brother, and so, while we were... Well, while my family was out in the backyard um, having a campfire, I kind of started paying attention to Big Brother with my cousin. Now, I didn't know what was going on because this was the first I've ever seen of Big Brother. But I kind of got into it. This was, I think this was the episode of the battle back in Big Brother season 19 um, with Cody versus Paul in the battle back, I think. Um... But yeah, um, Cody won, he ended up back in the house, that was the first I've seen a Big Brother, and I really, really liked it, so I managed to find out what channel it was on, when, like, each night it came on, and I started watching it from there. So, ever since then, I became a fan, um, first time I ever watched Big Brother Canada was for BB Can 6 in 2018. Of course, I freaking loved it, and I've been watching every single season, every single episode since. Um, I only watched the American and the Canadian versions, though, but I know there are other versions of Big Brother, like the Australian version and stuff, so. But yeah, I'm a massive fan of Big Brother, massive, massive fan, obsessed with it, love it. So, I found out, I looked on Google and I was like, when does Big Brother stop taking applications for this season? And it's literally, they literally stopped taking applications in two days so I was literally contemplating today whether or not I should apply for Big Brother I was going to but I didn't after I mean I don't know if I'm gonna go up like end up applying for it tomorrow or not but yeah I haven't applied for it yet I don't know if I will I might wait until next year but yeah I was contemplating on applying for Big Brother um sending in a video application um and stuff like that. So, because I know for a big brother, um, you have to upload a video talking about, like, why you deserve to be on big brother and all this stuff. And just talk about, um, just talk about yourself. Like, anything they might want to know about you or, like, how old you are, where you're from, all that stuff, what your name is. So, yeah, I was actually contemplating on applying. Um, like I said, I didn't after. Well, not yet, anyway. But I don't know if I will. I might just wait until next year. But, yeah. Like I said, it's going to be, if I do end up applying and I get in, um, 
it's going to be hard being away from my family because I've never stayed away from my family for more than, I would say, six or seven hours. Well, that's a lie. Because there has been times where I would be working and I have, and I don't get to see my parents until, like, for eight full hours. So that, that'd be a lie. But, yeah, I've never spent a night away from my family. So, yeah, it's going to be hard if I do end up applying and getting accepted for it. But I, I, I'd be willing to give it a go. Um, see, like, see, hopefully see if I can win. Um, but we'll see. But, yeah, while I was thinking about it, I, um, came up with an idea. Because I know there are a lot of big bro other Big Brother Super fans like myself. They literally watch, they've watched every single season, every single episode of Big Brother. And they literally have a book about it. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to do that too. I did actually start one for Big Brother Canada about a year ago. Um, I went back and I started re well, not rewatching because I haven't... Where I became a, I didn't become a fan until I BB, BB Can 6. I, I didn't immediately, if that makes sense, see the first, like, five seasons. And then sometime last year, I went back and I found a website called VideoBrother.net. And I think that's what it's called. So I went on there and I started watching every single episode, every single season. So I know on there you can get literally every season, but um, on BigWeatherCanada.ca you can actually get the full episodes. Sure, there are commercials which drive me insane. Like, they literally have, like, the first advertisements. There are only, like, two or three advertisements. And then they, you would... This is, this is just on the Big Brother Canada website, by the way. They You click on the full episode. It'll show, like, two or three advertisements. Then it'll show, like, the first 10, 15 minutes of the show, maybe less. Then they would show five full advertisements. Some advertisements advertisements being like 30 seconds long. And you can't even skip them like you can on YouTube. And I hate that, but it is worth it. I am I freaking love the show. So I managed to get through it. All those advertisements. But, yeah, anyway. So, yeah, I have seen every single season. I've seen Big Brother Canada season Four, five, six, seven, and eight, and maybe nine, two times. Um, I've only seen the first three seasons once, um, because last year was the first time I've ever seen any of those seasons, um, and the only time so far. Um, but yeah, um, I'm not sure when I'm going to start doing this, but... As soon as I can, really, I am going to re start rewatching every single episode, season of Big Brother again, the Canadian version. I'm going to do the Canadian version, and then after BB Can is all rewatched and done, I'm going to go and watch every season from the American version. And I'm literally going to do the exact same thing with the American one. So what I'm going to do, you could call me weird if you want. You can come for me for doing this. I don't really care, but... I bought this binder for that. I'm going to rewatch every single Big Brother Canada season, episode, whatever. And I'm literally going to have, like, I'm going to have dividers and pieces of paper in this. And I'm literally going to label one divider, BB Cam 1. Another divider, BB Cam 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All the way until BB Cam 11. So, that's what this is for. Yeah. I'm literally going to put, like, a sticker label on here. Um, I just have to find one first and label it BB Can. And every time a Big Brother season starts, the Canadian version, I will literally add it in here. I'm going to watch the entire episode and write about it in here. Like, I'm literally going to write everything. I'm going to write who the first HOH was, who was in jury, who walked into the house. Because when Big Brother premieres every year, when, what they do with the cast is they have, like, four people walk in at once. So... Usually it's about 14 to 16 players every year, and around there anyway. And for all the house guests that entered, they would literally have four people out of 16 enter at once until all 16 are in. So literally, I will, I will even go into this book and I will write down the first four that entered, the second group, the third group to enter each house. Yeah, 
that's how big of a fan I am. I did do this um, before. Um, I had like this small little notebook like this big. And I did do that before. I wrote down who entered the house in each group. I entered who the first HOH was, who they voted for in jury to win, um, everything. Anyway, so I did that for about a week, and then I stopped. But at this point, I don't even know where that notebook is, so I'm just going to start from scratch and actually start using a binder and literally putting dividers in it. So that's what this is for. Again, you can call me weird if you want. I really don't care, but that's... I love Big Brother that much, and that's what I'm going to do. And, of course, I got some dividers for that. Um, right now, we're currently going to, into BB Can 12. Again, I am I might apply for it. I Actually, maybe I won't do it this year. Maybe I'll wait till next year because if I'm going to do this, I need to watch every single season in order to do that. And, yeah. Yeah, I'll probably wait until next year to apply for Big Brother if I if I am going to apply. But yeah. Anyway, we're going into season twelve now in March twenty twenty four, and so I bought three packs of dividers. There are five in a pack, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, five. So I'm good for the next. Well. When BB Can 12 starts in March, I'm good with the with all these dividers. I'm good for the next like three years of Big Brother. So that's what these are for. I'm gonna put all of these in with some loose leaves, label all of them BB Can one, two, three, four, five, six, and onto eventually season 12 when that premieres in March. So that's what this is for. Um, next, I got some whiteout. I usually, I, not usually, but I got this mostly for that Big Brother binder thing that I'm going to do. But yeah, I, I'm going to use this besides that and anyway, but that's what that's mostly for. But again, I'm going to use this whenever I make a mistake on anything, so yeah. I got some Santa Claus stickers, some Christmas stickers, these glittery ones, super cute. I got a retractable eraser. I got this Christmas fidget. There's kind of like weird marks on it. But whatever, it's cute. Love it. And then I got two more packs of Christmas stickers. These are kind of like the wax seals yeah when you like put a letter together and you put it in the envelope you write a letter put it in the envelope and you seal it together and with wax these are them but they're stickers so super cute found these and i freaking fell in love with these so love those and then i got some permanent markers this is probably going to go towards the big brother thing too i'm gonna these are permanent so they're probably gonna go through the paper if i write it on paper so i'm not gonna put write these on paper when i do write about like the entire season but i am going to put these like on the dividers i'm gonna write with this on the dividers big brother canada season six seven two one whatever and i'm gonna i do have some somewhere but i don't know where but i'm gonna do something but i'm gonna have like make my own little label or buy some label stickers and put it on the cover on the front of this and I'm going to write on that label Big Brother Canada yeah there's that so obviously I'll use these whenever wherever doesn't matter but that's mostly for that Big Brother thing and then the last thing in this bag I got I just got this for my car keys it is a cupcake squishy so it's a little keychain one so got this for my keys for my car so that is everything in that bag the second and final bag i got a bingo dabber because i love playing bingo i actually played it tonight with my mom i was so close to winning 200 dollars. i literally okay i was hooked for so long i had i only needed m45 and that was it there was two ends left to be called and every second, every time a ball would come out and he would go to 
put his hand on the ball and pick a, pick a ball or pick a number, whatever. I was, like, on the edge of my seat. I literally had my phone on my table with the freaking number. Like, I had the keypad right here. I had the number completely on my screen. I was just ready to press that green button right there. Then they called a number. I can't remember what number it was. And then I heard the phone ring. Bingo was called. And it was not mine. I was so close. Like, that that was literally the closest I ever was, or I ever, what am I trying to say? That's the closest I've ever been, that's what I'm trying to say, to winning that bingo. But, I still play it just for the fun of it. Doesn't matter if I win or not, it's just fun for me, so, yeah. I got a bingo dabber. And then, I got some Bisqui tart, tartlets. Looks amazing. Can't wait to try these. And then I got a birthday gift for my uncle, which I will not be showing in case he ends up watching this video. But his birthday is tomorrow, so I have to do up his card and put what I have from in his card. So there's that. And then I also got some candy cane spoons. Obviously, this time of year I eat. I have. I don't eat hot chocolate. I drink it. Hello. I drink hot chocolate literally just about every single day, especially in this time of the year. Like, literally every time I go to Tim Hortons, I get a hot chocolate. I always do, and sometimes even make my own hot chocolate at home. And if I do make it at home, I always put a candy cane or, like, one of these candy cane spoons in it. And it is so freaking good. I'm obsessed. Love it. And then I also got a Reese's Big Cup because... This is for tonight, Monday Night Raw Wrestling. I'm a huge wrestling lover, if you couldn't tell already. Um, that is on tonight, and every night I have a snack. Tonight I'm having chips and this, so that's for that. Um, and then I got some mini brands. Um, they had mini brands at all ran and I was like, I flipped out because... You can't really find many brands at anywhere besides Walmart, especially and that I know of. Um, I've never seen. I've only seen it in two places: Walmart and Dominion. I think it was. I've never seen it at Dollarama before until today. So I went in and I bought two. They were only like five bucks, which is actually pretty cheap for many brands. So I opened them when I got home. I got two duplicates, but the rest I just got new ones. So I got two of these Reese's pieces and two of these. Huh? I keep wanting to say ham and hammer. It's arm and hammer. So I got two of those. And then I also got a Hershey's dark chocolate bar. Obviously, there's nothing actually in them. But they're just really cute. So I'm really into those. I have a whole tub full. And I actually, I watched Pink Sparkles, one of my favorite YouTubers. I absolutely adore her. Do a video where she opened mini brands. And whatever she got in a mini brands ball... That's what she would eat for an entire day. So, I have so many mini brands right now that I actually might end up doing that. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do it on here because I'm not that good at editing videos yet. But, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it on here or if I'm going to do it for a TikTok. We'll see. I don't even know if I'm going to do it that do that yet, but we'll see. Then, I got some nut thins. More nut thins, but these are like a different one. And I got this Stubbs barbecue sauce. I got a razor. And I think the last mini brands that I got is shampoo. So I'm really into mini brands. I think they're actually really fun and cute. And yeah, you can't really do anything with them. But I just like collecting them. It's fun for me. So yeah, um, I have two more things in this video and of course one of them is a book I could not you guys know me you guys should know at this point if you've seen my videos before that I never walked out of a store without a book so I'm going to show the book last but I got a South Park DVD I love South Park it's one of my favorite shows ever I got Streaming Wars so it was either I was stuck between getting this and the season 26 DVD but I ended up getting this, so there's that. And then the book that I got is A Chicken Soup for the Soul, Time for Christmas book. 
I love books in general, but I really enjoy Chicken Soup for Soul books. Like, they're just literal, they're just, like, short stories. Although, obviously, Christmas, so. Like, literally, true, short stories. A lot of them are actually really, really short. Like, this is just one chapter, one story. So, I really enjoy Chicken Soup for Soul books, and of course, the Christmas ones just hit different. I love the Christmas ones probably even more. But, yeah. That is everything that I got. If you guys enjoyed today's video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me. And I think next weekend is Survivor Series. I'm going to check. Next Saturday, the 25th, is Survivor Series War Games. So, of course, next Saturday or sometime next week, I'm going to do my predictions for that. So, I will see you guys next week for my Survivor Series War Games predictions. Bye, guys.